Hello and welcome. Today I'm reviewing a pretty awesome flex nib pen. This is the Fountain Pen Revolution Jaipur in orange with an ultra flex nib option. They have a version 1 and a version 2 of the Jaipur, but this is the version 1. Jaipur is a city in northwest India, and I believe this company sources their pens from India. Check out pictures of the city when you get a chance, it has beautiful architecture. I heard about Fountain Pen Revolution, or FPR, for a long time. So I checked their website and found that their pens are very affordable and ship worldwide. Now that I'm getting more and more into calligraphy, and I love flex nib pens, I had to get one. At the time of this video, this pen costs 18 US dollars, plus an additional 13 for the steel ultra flex nib option, making this a very affordable $31 flex pen. There's also a standard flex nib option for just $3. I don't have one of those standard flexes. This is the ultra flex, which is shaped differently with the cutouts. And so it seems like it would have more flex. I mean, maybe it's a marketing to get an extra $10 out of me, but uh, you know, if it was, then it worked and I'm happy nonetheless, so all is well. Now, this was shipped as simply as possible. The pen was rolled up in bubble wrap and shipped in a padded envelope. That's it, no box at all. That's fine with me. I do enjoy presentation, but with an inexpensive pen like this, uh, if it would have come in a cheap box, I would have thrown it away anyway. This particular color of this Jaipur with its black and orange is likely a nod to the Parker Duofold or other vintage pens that came in this color style. It does come in 10 different color options though, including other solid colors and transparent colors. This pen is a good full size, especially when posted. It has FPR engraved on a chrome center band, which matches the metal of the clip. The black ends are present in all ways. Every time you uncap it or post it or keep it capped, they're keeping a nice symmetry to the pen, no matter how you have it. Here's the pen next to a Lamy Safari, a Pilot Metropolitan, and a Twisby Diamond 580. This pen is a screw cap. It comes off in two rotations. The nib on here is FPR's own 5.5 size Ultraflex nib. The nib options come in the usual sizes, plus a stub, a standard flex, and this Ultraflex with the cutouts. The nib is engraved with FPR on one tine and flex on the other tine. The nib and Ebonite feed are seated well into the housing. And so overall, it does look a little, little small for the pen, but that doesn't affect the functionality. This is a piston filler, which I love for flex pens. And I think it's nearly essential considering how much ink a flex pen puts down. A cartridge converter flex pen is simply too annoying for me to have to worry about the ink level. This ink window is excellent. And I wish all of my pens could have this piston window combination. I've got it inked up with Wall Eversharp Wallberry ink. One thing you may have noticed is this tacky part right here where the section meets the window. That is super glue. Ink was getting out at that seam and so I had to seal it up the best I could. This was not happening when I first got the pen, so I don't blame FPR for this per se. It only happened after months of use, so I keep it in a bag where it could have been bumped and it could have pressure cracked at that point and the seam got loose. So I don't know if the seam is prone to failure or if I just bumped it in a way that I caused it. So uh, I'm not blaming them for that. I'm just saying that's what that is. Uh, this Jaipur, it posts well, about half deep in the cap, which brings the pen to a substantial but not awkward length. It's somewhat light, but the girth of the section makes it feel beefy enough. And now let's see how it writes. I'm going to use Rhodia paper and also standard 80 GSM printer paper. Every flex pen I've got is very finicky. Sometimes flex pens are great and keep up with everything. Sometimes they railroad with every line. It's very hit and miss. And even on the same pen, sometimes it can act well and sometimes not. This pen had flow issues when I got it. I could see the oil residue from manufacturing in the ink window. This pen still needs cleaned often, but after a heavy rinsing out, it all keeps up. 
And when all is well, the writing is fantastic, and the nib doesn't need primed all the time. Just uncap and go. Other inexpensive flex pens I've tried, uh, they feel like steel nibs. They, you can feel the steel. It's like gliding, it's like, uh, like gl uh, gliding the rounded part of a paper clip across a page. It's smooth, but stainless steely. This nib, it feels more like a good dip pen. Not needle sharp like a dip pen, but with that precision. And I love that feel, and it's quite unique to this nib. The Jaipur is, is great to use for copper plate and other flex nib calligraphy because it has that sort of dip pen feel when you write with it, and I always carry it with me for the ink capacity, the ink window, and that, those great results. Uh, modern flex pens and their necessary adjustments, they're never perfectly optimized, but anyone who takes a little DIY tinkering and knows how to do that can make good use of any modern flex pen. I've seen reviews of expensive gold nib modern flexes that seem to have as many issues as this one, and so I think this pen, it looks fine and it's going to be great, and as I get more into professional calligraphy, I'd gladly pay for a more fancier body than this one. Because this, uh, it looks pretty good, but I'd like the writing experience with a little more elegance. And if you look at Fountain Pen Revolution's website, they do have this nib available on some more elegant pens. So I think it's time for me to spend some money. But nonetheless, I'm glad that I tried this inexpensive Jaipur first. The feel for the Flex is great, and that's what I use it for. That leaky crack issue, it could have been my fault, but something, you know, something to watch out for. And it may be due to a cheaper pen that's more prone to breakage simply because the quality control on an inexpensive pen is not as high. Uh, there are a number of other modern flex pens out there that are affordable. Uh, this one should be on your short list. Just keep it clean, clean it a lot, and watch a few DIY videos about flex pens and adjustment to make sure you can make it work for you as well as it works for me. Thank you very much, and that is the Fountain Pen Revolution Jaipur with an Ultra Flex nib. Take care.